We got lost in a toilet. <laughs> Have a look at this baby. Another naughty man we're gonna go follow. Has been released yet? <laughs> what is it? Stinging like. Well, tell us what happened, pig. We got locked <laughs> in a toilet. <laughs> she got locked in a public toilet. She couldn't get out. <laughs> We're going to have to go get the rescue team to get her out of there. Because <laughs> <laughs> then I hear a voice thankfully going, are you trying to get out? I'm like, yes, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Lucky he didn't leave without me. Yeah, well, Lucky he uh, remembered me. Tempting, but anyway, uh, I need somebody to give me directions. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a good job of that either. <laughs> you might have to. All right, so another day, another adventure. Just turn him off for a sec. Um, so we've just left Dubbo and we are on our way to, we're not really sure. We haven't really, we haven't booked in anything and there's no real plans. We're just heading towards Wagga Wagga and Wagga Wagga. Wagga, Wagga. Wagga, Wagga. And then we really don't know. So somewhere between here and Wagga is where we'll stop. But again, we're not sure. So Peg looked up a few things to do on the way and interesting things to see hopefully yeah, find we a thing. can't find it it's... isn't that what it's got there no ah oh, how about we find it before we leave oh my goodness okay happy days yes so first stop of the day is at a place called peak hill which is a old abandoned gold mine big open cut gold mine so let's go take a look So we're at the Peak Hill Gold Mine, New South Wales. To what we were trying to say, that this is where they first found gold in 1889. Yep. And then uh, about a hundred years later, um, in 1996, they then recommenced mining and then they've built this. And I think this was to 2002 or 2001. 2001, I think it was, yeah. 2001, um, they finished hmm. and then they left that. If we had more time today, uh, those mines would be pretty cool to walk around. Well, I only thought there was one mine, but when I got Ramon up in the air, you could clearly see there's like half a dozen of them. And some of them, you can actually look like you walk down to the bottom, which would be pretty cool. But unfortunately, you have to walk all the way back up. So I think uh, just getting Ramon in the air is good enough. But uh, yeah, off to the next destination. Where's that big? Parks, I think. The parks. Wait till you see this one. Just out of a place called Parks, it's a small country town called Parks. Behind us here is a big satellite dish, which is called The Dish from the movie, starring Sam O'Neill. Now, I'm not sure what year that was, so I'll put that up in a sec. Um, but have a look at this baby. This is a 3D movie that we're about to see, so. All right, we're ready. Come on. Get out of my face. What did you say before that? Nothing's working. <laughs> she keeps breaking things. So what's it need to do? Can you slide the tiles around and swap the Z with the Z? For a second, where's the Z? I did it. <laughs> Cheated all the way, but all right, we've got to go before we get kicked out. All right, so we just pulled into this free camp called 
Ardulthan. Ardulthan. A town called Ardulthan. So you've got to have self-contained, $2 for 12 hours electricity, if you want. And there's a toilet. Little place you can stay. Lots. And as Peg said, two bucks for 12 hours of power. It's you can't right, go wrong. So we've got to see if they've got two dollar coins because well, we don't have them. See what this. I've got one. Francis Alexander Bradley. So apparently this is the home of the Kelpie. The Kelpie dog. Right. But it's Saturday evening. It's like a ghost town. Yeah, but we're lucky because. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when that's open. Otherwise, we'd be hunting for our dinner. Which means noodles in a cup. Or baked beans. Baked beans on toast. Good morning. Another day, another adventure. So we're at a little town called Lockhart, New South Wales still. Uh, we're heading towards Albury and Wodonga and then probably head down through a bit of Victoria and then home to Adelaide. Now, it's Sunday morning and it is 9.30, so not much is open, unless we want to go to church. They have bread and water there, don't they? Hey? They have bread and water. They have bread and water, yes. They have bread and wine. <laughs> we go to the one where yes. they have wine. Right, so we're looking for a coffee shop or somewhere to have some breakfast. If not, it looks like we're going to have to go back to the caravan and just have some toast. But a thriving metropolis. Look at this. Well, I'm going to say we've just spent today's budget on breakfast and coffees. So, <laughs> Vegemite sandwiches and water for the rest of the day. And nowhere to stay, so another free camp looks like it's going to happen. <laughs> Welcome to Life on the Road. All right, where to now? Oh, we've found another place that's a bit off the track. However... Do tell. I've just got to find what it's called. I actually don't know what it's, it's called. It's Morgan's Rocks or something. Morgan's Rock, Morgan's Caves. Caves. Morgan's got some rocks. It's, um, <clears throat> we found out, we we're not sure if we we're going to go, and then we read about it, and it's another bush ranger. So... We figure well. Another naughty man we're going to go follow. And he lived in these caves or rocks, which is right gra white granite. So we're going to go have a look. All right, we'll see you at the Morgan Caves. Yeah. New South Wales. Still in New South Wales. All right, cool. We'll see you then. The rock. So we're slowly, very, very slowly <laughs> climbing up to. Morgan's Lookout and have a look at this. So we're in Carl, Carl Cairn in New South Wales, Carl Cairn at uh, Morgan's Lookout and back in 1854 um, Daniel Mad Dog Morgan. The Mad Dog. Mad Dog. He was, was a bush ranger, a bit of an outlaw, um, outcast. He was arrested in 54, so I don't know, yeah, he would have been here for a little while. White granite rocks. Um, and this is actually where he used to hide, to evade police. And also to, yeah, to scope out any passerbys that he could come down and rob. Was he a gentleman, like our old well, doesn't mate? doesn't talk about gentlemen, just... Captain, like our old mate Captain Thunderbolt. But there's a, a walking track up. Yep, which will go up through there. I don't know if I've got the right shoes You'll on. You'll be but fine. Let's go. It's only open between 8 and 5 or 8 and 7. Um, and it's in between private properties. So there's a gate that gets closed so you can't come up. But it's looks impressive. The actual name was John Fuller and he was the... Illeg oh, illegitimate son of Mary Owen and George Fuller and was adopted out. There you go. If you 
getting chased by the old coppers back then. This is a great hideout. Beautiful advantage. You can see him coming from every direction. Yeah, the wind picked up, but strong wind warnings. Oh. Mayhem, absolute mayhem. The paint's going now. Oh. The flies, I love the flies. Yeah, that's dropped heaps. Welcome to Beechworth, Victoria. This is where we'll be camped up for the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, pretty good spot. Come up here. Now I'm not gonna complain about this location for the next couple of days, should be good. So we used to live in Victoria. Oh, Jesus, that was 30 years ago now. And um, yeah, we've never been out this way, so. It'd be good to explore it. So last time we left here, we were at the old Mad Dog's lookout. And uh, yeah, pretty sure it was a wasp that got me on the foot, just on the arch of the foot. Still bloody sore, but nowhere near as bad. So had it iced up the last couple of hours. Now we're supposed to go to Albury or Wodonga. We're gonna stop there uh, tonight. But the reviews on Wikicams aren't that positive on a lot of the sites there. So we thought we'll continue on through to Beechworth. Yeah, so we weren't due to come here until tomorrow night. But it's only 40 k's up the road from Albury. So we figured we might as well continue on and, and come here. Now, how's this for a cracking site? Pretty good. So we're at Lake Sandbell, uh, 40 bucks a night. Not too bad considering we were uh, probably Oh, we didn't book for a start, you know that. We don't book anywhere. Uh, there's not many sites available. And it looks like there's a big um, the zone caravan. Looks like there's a mass migration of them. So we'll go have a look at them a bit later on. So wh why are you having trouble? It's a bee tard. It's a bee tard? <laughs> That's one of those bastard ones. Oh, it's in tight and I don't like it being loud. It invites people over. Well, that's true. I'm having the reduced alcohol. And we don't want that. I'm having the reduced alcohol. Just saying. Don't need someone to save me. Now, we've stayed at a lot of caravan parks over the years, but this one is... This is the bee's knees by far. It beats Queensland. The Beechworth bees. The Beechworth bees, yeah, very good. I'm going to say... Go as far to say this beats um, Queensland and Ellis yeah. Beach and oh, that's, a, that's the sea though. They're two different things. This here has got a creek running through it. It's got trails everywhere. If you really wanted to walk into the town, you can. You don't have to drive. Um, and there's heaps, lots of historical old buildings. It's like that sort of thing. Probably We're just going to go down the end here. This is where all the zone caravans are. So, an annual event, we're told. An annual zone yeah, event. Yeah. Everyone we, we... keeps following us. <laughs> all right. Tomorrow we've got school kids. Happy days, right? And time for it's, Halloween! It's Halloween. <laughs> it's messy. So there's about a, one billion zone caravans it's all crammed into there. And over here, we have the lake. Ooh, yeah. The 
Let's be honest for a second Yeah, you'll be in over your head, babe Cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel The wall shed walls. Wall shed walls. <laughs> the wall shed falls. Let's have a look. Wow. How good would Ramon look? We're not in the rain during this this time. No. It's not even raining. No, but we're... Preparation. We've got snorkels in there. <laughs> we just got mocked for putting on ponchos. Because apparently it's not going to rain. This lady checked the weather forecast, but she's not walking around in it. So we're saying there's 50% that it can, 50% that it won't. So place your bets. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> it is starting to rain, so if you if you place your bets on raining, you win. All right. So this is where the Kelly Gang used to hang out, oh. and that's really? why. Yeah, that's why in Beechworth, in the Information Centre, they've got all the oh, Ed Kelly, Kelly memorabilia because this is his waterhole. Did not know that. Or well, one of them, anyway. Another bush ranger. Yeah, another bush ranger. So, this little channel apparently was man made back in 18, I don't know, 18, whenever it doesn't say. 1800. Yeah, <laughs> 1851, I'm going to yeah. go with. When was the gold rush? 1851. So... That's when all the bandits it, were about. 1850, we're going to say this was cut. Mid-50s. Nah, I don't know, I'm just making crap up now, as you know. You're so graceful. You're like a ballerina. <laughs> no, but I can't bend my ankle. Bit of a climb to get down here, but it's worth it, I think. So this track keeps on going for six kilometres back into Beechworth, which clearly we're not going to be doing. So we're going to stop here at the bridge. I think that's our turnaround point. Oh, we'll go a little bit further. Have a look. Just up there. Looks pretty. Now Peg asked me, why does that sheep have a longer neck compared to all the others? I told her it was because it got its head stuck in the fence and I tried to yank it out and that's why it has a longer neck. <laughs> She's saying I'm mean. Cookbars are finding it funny. Okay, so gold was discovered in 1851 and 1855 most local mining activities were centered around Woolshed. There you go. So that was definitely worth coming to. Yeah. I'm not sure where we're off to next. We have a picnic up here, but it's only 10.30 or something. Yeah. <laughs> a bit early. Yeah. A bit early. Next stop. Um, Chinese burning towers in the cemetery. Hmm. So we like to go to cemeteries. All right. Dead center of Beechworth. <laughs> see, it's the burning center. All right, see you there. Don't need you here to say so. This is where the Chinese, um, to pay their respects, they would put paper, pig, and something else in here to burn. And there's over. 2,000 Chinese that lie peacefully here. But all of those, 2,000. Cause if you're gonna leave me then just do it. Don't take it slow, don't be gentle. No, I just gotta know if you're gonna leave me then just do it.
Oh, that's like a, is it raspberry and something? Red skin. Red skin. Yeah, red skin. So it's definitely raspberry. Tastes like a red skin. Yeah. Yeah. So you just help yourself to whichever ones you want. So is Borella. Not help yourself. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Oh, that was nice. Rainbow. I like that one. Rainbow shirt. Just look around. Which one was? Um, oh, so it's bro. This one's going to be awesome. It smells good. We both like that one. So it's bro with a kick. This stuff is addictive. Now, one of the kids love it. Grape bubblegum, Lamington flavour. We've just been to Bilson's. And what have you got there? <laughs> He's bought shares. We're broke again. <laughs> Budget's well and truly gone. Yeah. Guy thinks he's got a free trolley though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, it's nice of him to give me the trolley. And we've got some goodies in there too. Got a couple of freebies. <laughs> Trying a blue Hawaiian spider. Not a spider, just milkshake. milkshake. Just that a milkshake. That is what he's, that's your traditional. Mm. That's like a proper old milkshake flavour. I don't know what flavour of that is. Yeah, it is. Wow! So <laughs> 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 it hasn't been released yet? It hasn't been released yet. <laughs> so I think it's Thursday. So it's nice, but it is sweet, isn't it? Well, there you go. Yeah, like a bit of, bit of vanilla. I don't want any more because I'll be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> only because I can't drink too much of it. That's. I can't describe what it tastes like. Oh, you're filming Sorry. <laughs> you guys got a video vlog or something. What's going oh, on? no, this is all good. Taking by right for beaches. <laughs> <laughs> the blue Hawaiian cordial hasn't been, hasn't been released yet. And she let us. And so the while they were taking the photos of it, I said, here, you guys might as well just drink this and try this. So we had the milkshakes of that. That was pretty good. We can officially say <gasps> we we're got... the first to try it. <laughs> Public, that is. Can you believe this? Two weeks ago, we were bitching and moaning how hot it was. Now look at us, right and up. It's 7.30 at night, and we're about to go for a walk. It's 7.37 p.m. Sorry, <laughs> thank you, Siri. Siri <laughs> corrected me. Well, it's not 7.30, it's 7.36 p.m. So anyway, so thank you to Siri for that, for correcting me on my mistake. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go for a quick walk. Uh, before it starts raining. The rain's due around about 8 o'clock, so... Ah, uh, so we we'll to get the awning and everything down Correct. for the morning. Correct. Dumb. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Alright. We'll see you in the morning. Doing the jobs. Doing the jobs. Alright, so we're off to a bit of a later start this morning than what we normally do. It's before Siri corrects me again, it's 20 past 9. Normally we're well and truly on the road by now, but today we sort of weren't sure we are going to continue further into Victoria or just follow it across, uh, follow the river basically back to Adelaide that way. So um, we've decided we're gonna follow the river. So next stop will be probably a Chuka, I reckon, is what we're thinking, not 100% sure. So anyway, thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in a Chuka on the next one. Cheers, bye.